This is the Jerry Show, and this is the Movo MFF 400 Motorized Follow Focus. This is a follow focus and a zoom, and this is all motorized, and you can use it as a shoulder rig, or you can have it mounted to a tripod. But I've already had it opened up once here, and I'm just going to open it up again. I have it completely disassembled because I wanted to show you just uh, me putting it together. And as I take things out of the box here, I'm going to kind of talk about them. This is the main controller. This basically will sit on the back and there's a few different buttons on this. We have a like a zoom zoom in, zoom out. That's what those are. You have a plus and then a minus goes between there. And then we have the focus. And we have infinite and then we can go focus the other way. So that's the focus button. And then these down here we use to actually program this uh, focus controller because we will set focus, say if I have someone right here and then someone right here, we can set focus to where I can hit and it will return to each focus automatically. So we'll talk about that here in just a little bit, but that's what that does. So this does have built-in memory, uh, even with zoom. So say if you want to zoom out and then zoom back in and zoom out to a certain, uh, certain range, you could do that as well. Now this does run off of two 18650 batteries that are not included. So the batteries are not included, but they are, they're very reasonably priced. And the reason why, these are 3.7 volt batteries and they are pretty big batteries and you want longer lasting batteries. That way you'll be able to uh, just use the follow focus and things like that a little bit longer. So I'll go ahead and it does have this little battery tray. So basically I just put the batteries in the tray like that. And then I can slide the cover on the battery pack. Oop. Have it clipped there. And then this just slides onto the uh, controller part. And there's an on off switch there on the back that will basically turn the thing on and off. Now here we have Four different ports we have a left H left M right M and right H okay so what these stand for is left hand and then we have right hand and then left motor and then right motor and these are nice attachments they are they screw on there so they're not gonna come unplugged uh, they're they got plenty of cable extra cable so you wouldn't shouldn't have to worry about that anyway but that's that and also on the side here we do have a 9 volt DC charger so if you wanted to charge that um, I have rechargeable batteries in there right now you might be able to recharge through this I'm not quite sure um, or you could probably plug this directly in say if you're going to use this on a stationary tripod and not be using it as the shoulder mount then you'd be able to uh, power it right there so that's that and we do have this little uh, quarter thread tripod mount there on the bottom which actually mounts on the back which I'll get to just one second here okay next we have the this is the piece this is the huge this is aluminum and it is the plate that let me slide it out here when I slide this plate off it almost like it kind of doesn't really slide because of these little feet right here so it's you loosen this up quite a bit and then I kind of just put in one side at a time. That's what I've been kind of whoops, doing about that. Let's pull that plate off and then we have the quarter inch. This is the mounting screw and this screw on both sides, this does, won't just come and slide out. You actually have to screw it in. There's one side that's just a hair bigger than the other ones and that just screws there in the side like that. And then you, you know, would just mount your camera there. Now this is also adjustable. All these parts are metal. They have these four adjusters. Now these adjusters adjust the height. Height is very important because cameras are different sizes. Uh, the cameras I use are the Panasonic GH4 and I use the Panasonic GH3. Uh, I recently sold my other full, kind of full size camera body. Um, but so it's important though, cause say if you want to switch out and you need to switch out frames, you can raise and lower this. And I'm doing that right now. There's four little pieces right there and it allows it to go up and down to adjust it to different heights. And that'll make a little bit more sense here, I guess, in one second if it's not yet when I get all this put together. 
But I just wanted to show you that. And then here on the side, we have that little turning knob, and that will tighten up the uh, base plate there. And on this side, we have, well actually on both sides, we have these little uh, screws. They'll unscrew the poles just like that. You can loosen them, tighten them. And they also, they have that one feature where they pull out and you can spin back. So if you get caught in like a jam, you can pull out and then go, go back, get it nice and tight. So, all right, let's just keep moving on. I'm probably blabbling on way too much here. I'm gonna start flying through this. Okay, here is the shoulder mount. This thing is super comfortable. The rubber on this, uh, I mean, there's nothing too special about it, but it fits my shoulder perfect and it feels just really good. Then we have some bars here. This is the slider. This is where you mount the actual controller, which I'll get to here in just one second. Now I got some of these focus rings. I have probably a couple of them focus rings. Oh, here is the directions. The directions are very good, and uh, yeah, you can get you can zip through this. I got it together like in five minutes, uh, first time. So now we have, this is for the handles, the hand grips. You can see one side's a little longer than the other. And that's just for, because obviously it's going to be on, you're holding it like this, so you want this one to be a little bit longer. So that's that, nice that they compensated for that. All right, let's keep uh, moving on here. Oh, well, this is fun. Here is one of the motors. Uh, there's two of these, but this is just one of the motors, and they are nice and quiet, and they have a little spot right there that you put them on the rods let's see if i can go in here and grab out the other one. Oh nope we have a handle this is actually the zoom handle the zoom handle has a bar right there you can put it through the rod we have another connection there and then we have a really nice foam rubber hand grip and we have the plus and minus so to zoom in and zoom out right there and just notice we have it says left h so it does matter which one this is going on. Let's go ahead and keep going in here. I'm getting to the end. Here is the other motor. This goes on one of the sides and we'll either control the zoom or the focus. Now we have some more gears there. There's different sizes. Now this is the bar, this is for mounting the shoulder rig to the uh, part here that actually holds the camera. So that's a little Z pattern there. We're almost done here. We have some more focus rings. This is for, we have plenty of different sizes available just depending on uh, what size lens you'll be using. Uh, a lot of my lenses, let's go ahead and pull up my camera here. I have the Panasonic GH3. And this one, I have the lens on it is the 14 to 140 with the built-in stabilization. And one thing I've always noticed with this certain, I'm not sure if it's just the lens because I haven't tried out other ones, but the focus ring is just kind of really stiff on this guy. But let's just go ahead and this is a zoom, so I wanted to show you how the zoom would work. But my other lenses are mostly primes. And I want to be using this for prime as well, so when I'm panning, I can go ahead and just pull the focus, because Panasonic does a good job at grabbing the focus, but sometimes it's almost too quick, if you know what I mean. Okay, so I went ahead and I threw my prime lens, one of my prime lenses on here, so there's no reason for me to hook up the zoom. Uh, and I want to go through how you would set each one of these so you could zoom, or excuse me, focus to I actually have four or three different, I have a draft and a little drummer guy and then a plant set up and I will show you how the memory works when you want to save focus. Uh, but first we need to set up the focus and also the zoom. Now we'll turn it on. Now every time there's a way to erase your memory on this, but every time you shut it off, it will erase the memory as well. So you really don't need to worry about erase the memory you can just turn it off and I do the step-by-step -step to set this is right in the directions it's pretty simple I've done it a few times now and uh, we'll just go ahead and get started the first thing we'll need to do especially since this is okay we'll go ahead turn on the camera and when I focus this 
there's I want there to be a start point and a stop point. So the first point I'm going to get to is the start point and you want to go all the way to like the motors. You can kind of see how the motors it's grinding because that piece is on the other side. So once you get there, I usually go back a tick and I will save that as my starting point. To save the starting point, you just hold down on one and two and I'm going to want this to turn on. So we'll hold this down like this and it will start blinking. Now I want to go to my in focus. So I'll go all the way around. And you can see it getting closer here. And then I'll go a tick back like that. And then I'll go ahead and to set that focus, let's see, I push three and four. So I'll just hold down three and four and that button will stop blinking like that. Now my focus is set, so it will start and stop where I told it to. So you, we won't hear it run into the thing and go blah, see how it just stops like that and it will work the other way. So you need to have the focus and the zoom set before we can actually set the one, two, and three, and four. Now since I don't have a zoom lens on here, what we're gonna do is we're just, you can see the motor spinning it's actually down here over on this side. I don't even have it hooked up. It's just kind of setting there. So we're just gonna make an imaginary start point. And once we find the start point, we hold down buttons one and three. And we'll wait for it to start blinking. And then we're gonna to go to our end point. And we're just creating an imaginary end point there. And once I get there, we will, let's see, it is press two and four. So we'll go ahead, push two and four, hold it down. And boom, now my zoom is set. Hold it up there and you can see it will stop on its own right there. And then, oops, that's the focus. Now I can go this way and it will stop again on its own. So now that we have both those set, we just need to go through the focus. And like I said, I have like a giraffe setting there. So what I wanna do is I want the giraffe to be number one in focus, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and focus to the giraffe now. And I'm gonna start recording with this camera just so you can kind of see this at the same time. And let me go ahead. And once I have the giraffe in focus and I have the uh, green on there so I can see the focus, and I'll just go ahead, hold down one, and I'm gonna hold down one, and boom, the light goes off, it'll blink like that. Now, the number one focus is set. Now, I wanna go ahead and make sure I have focus on the little drummer guy. So I have focus there now, and I want that to be my number two focus. So I'll hold down on number two, it'll blink like that, boom, we're good. Now, I want my third focus, to be the actual plant there in the background. And once I have the focus there on the plant, I will just simply hold down the three and it's set. And then I can go to my last focus point, which I really don't have one. So we're just gonna focus in on the missing trim and some of the plants actually on there too, but that's fine. So we'll hold down four, blinks like that. And now we're good. Now we have all the focus set, so I can actually, I can go through one, two, three, four on here, or I can go one, two, three, four on the handheld grip. So let's say we wanna go back to the giraffe. We just hit one and boom, went straight to the giraffe. Two, we want the little guy to be in focus. Boom, little guy's in focus. Three, we want the plant to be in focus. We hit three, plant's in focus. And four, there goes the, uh, the trim or whatever. So we can shoot back to the little guy Focus on the little guy. Now let's shoot back to the giraffe. And boom, that's how that would work. So it's it's pretty simple to work up and set up and it's, it's dead on and it gives you that really cool effect. Now, if you look here on the front of the camera, you can see what I had to do here. I actually put, uh, I started with two rubber bands thick and then I just, I went down to one and I just made sure it was straight because the rings uh, actually weren't small enough for my 25 uh, millimeter lens there. So that is how you would set the 
the focus ring, and also the zoom. Okay, so I have the zoom lens back on there again. I wanted to go ahead and just show you setting it up one more time with the zoom and the focus on there, uh, just so you can see how that would work. So the first thing we will do is set the focus. So I'm gonna go all the way to a starting point, which I'll do right about there. And to do my starting point, I'll do hold one and two. And we'll get to flash like that. Now we'll go to the end excuse me, the other will be closest to us. And right there, I'll go back just a hair and then I'll push three and four. And now my focus is set. You can see it will go all the way to this side, no jerking all the way to this side with no jerk. So now I need to set the focus. So the first thing I wanna do is go all the way in and then I'll just go out just a hair and then that way I can set the focus or excuse me, not the focus, the zoom and to set the zoom for the starting point, we'll push one and three. We'll get that beep just like that. And then now we will take the zoom all the way out. And I'm gonna go back just a hair. And then we're gonna push two and four. And now the zoom is set. And I can do it by using the hand grip here, or I can also do it by using this. And you can see there's no abrupt stopping. The focus will also work with this now. Now what I wanna do is set my focus to when I'm zoomed in on that tree right there, I actually want to, let's see if we can focus in on this tree real quick. I'll have to zoom out just a hair. If I want to set the focus for this tree, okay, so the focus would be set there. And all I would need to do now to set the focus is hold down one, and it'll blink like that. Now I can zoom out, and this is where you can make the marks. And so when I zoom out and then zoom into that, I can hit one. Well, actually, I haven't even refocused yet. So I can go back here, and then I can hit one and it will focus back to the tree. So there's an example of how that would work and I'm definitely impressed with this. The motors are very quiet. Uh, it's very simple to use. After just a few times of setting it up, uh, I've been coming you know, more familiar with the process and using this and it's pretty simple to use. And like I said, even with the lens, my focus ring on this lens here, I know is it's super touchy, even when I'm doing it by hand. And what I did to solve that problem, I just went ahead and put a rubber band on there. And now my focus, it took care of the issue. So I'm definitely happy that I was able to make all my lenses work, uh, considering they're, you know, they're micro four third lenses and they uh, are a little bit smaller than even my other one where I just had to, but I could just put one rubber band on it and I was good to go. But overall, I would definitely recommend this shoulder rig. It's, like I said, it's a light. Might look a little intimidating at first, but it's not that difficult to use. And it's, I mean, it's very well made. Um, I mean, there's definitely, I could mount, you know, a monitor on here or whatever. But I just want to go ahead and show you that. I'll put a link in the description. But that is the Movo MFF 400. Thanks for watching.